look at this. Have to have a go at this. this rock it just looks like so much fun but lifted as I am and some of you guys as well will find that when you pull up to rock ledges like this you don't want to be attacking them on angles so it's much much safer for me to come around and hit it straight on now in this particular situation I've got plenty of room I could pull the truck around what I'm thinking is though I'm gonna pull some recovery gear out and show you a couple of tricks when you're buying your recovery gear it's worth having a look at buying a few other little bits and pieces some extra shackles some rope pieces and I'll show you how you can use those to do a few different things with your recovery gear that you probably didn't realize you could do. Okay, so we've got our recovery gear out. In the full recovery gear you pick up, it's got everything you're gonna need for 99% of your recoveries. Today though is a little bit different. We're gonna do a sideways pull, so we're gonna need a little bit of extra gear. Same gear that you have in the kit, it's just gonna be a few extra pieces. Some extra bow shackles. Uh, we're gonna run with some extra rope ones today. A little bit lighter, a little bit safer on your gear. And we're going to have some extra pulleys for some different rope pulls and lines and some extra dampeners obviously because we've got running extra lines as well. Okay, so before we get our rope out and get all our gear set up for this winch recovery, we're going to have to choose a couple of good looking trees that are up for the job. We've chosen a tree right in front of the truck, which is going to be perfect. Now we've chosen this one here as well. It's obviously been through a bushfire at some stage, but looking up the top, it's nice and healthy. We're going to keep our tree trunk protected down nice and low. Let's get into it. Okay, so we've run our rope out, got it all set up, attached to the back of the truck, they're ready to swing it around. And we've just realized we've about 10 meters short of rope to get over to the tree, which is the setup that we've got to use. So we're gonna think outside the box a little bit, and we're gonna use our 20 meter extension strap, doubled up, which in effect becomes the tree trunk protector, and brings the recovery point from way over there at the tree, right over to here, where I need it to be. Okay, so we've got all our gear set up. We've got safety blankets on every rope run. Our shackles are all in place. Gonna do run around and do one more final safety check and then we'll get this sideways winch underway. So we're good to go for our winch now. Now normally you might wanna be in the truck when you're winching, just so you've got control of the vehicle in case you need to drive it. You're not always gonna have that opportunity though. If you're stuck on the side of a cliff, it's a dangerous winch situation. So that's when these little remotes can come in handy for the winches that are supplied with it. Today, I'm just gonna stand here for a second, use the remote just to look at everything, make sure everything's working well before I jump in the truck and winch from there. Okay, so we're right to go with this recovery. One final check around from inside here. And if you had a crew with you, now's the time to make sure everyone's completely clear before you start winching. Now I'm just going to be a bit lazy today and use the remote while I'm sitting here as well, but I'm going to be sitting here and keeping control of the car and having a good look around at everything as I go, getting ready to stop to need be. Winching. That's got me into a much safer place where I need to be to have a go at this rock climb. We've pulled the truck around about two and a half, three meters. It's one thing to have the gear, to have all your recovery gear with you, but it's another thing again, to be able to know what to do with it and to think outside the square when you need to, especially if you're out in the bush on your Pat Malone like I am today. Well, time to pack up, get the gear back in the truck and have a go at this rock climb. Let's do it.